everyone violin guy golf again coming to you from Atlanta Georgia we are today going to do number two in my tutorials <clears throat> we're kind of building a golf course over here uh, tutorial Hills Golf Club uh, in our previous episode we um, got the beginning part of this done we kind of did uh, you know we chose our theme, we've got the harvest theme, which I really like. Um, I've never used it before though, so I, I am I am enjoying it. And we've uh, and then we laid out two holes. Okay, uh, if you look closely, of course, these two holes have zero. Let me get to edit holes so I can move around better. Uh, there's no fairway, and there's only a really tiny green. So here's another one, it's par three. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about two things. First thing we're going to do is go into a little bit more depth on the theme issue. So if you go into from your regular uh, menu, the one that has play test at the top, we're going to go to environment. Um, oh, by the way, uh, we're going to talk about this theme stuff, and then we're going to talk about fairways. There's two ways to make fairways. Um, neither of which are perfect, but uh, designers seem to be pretty divided on which way they make fairways. I've done it both ways. Oh, that sounds dirty. Yeah. Um, but uh, and I kind of have my own favorite, but I still use either or the other. Some wonderful English there. I use one or the other uh, all the time. So anyway, we're in the environment section here. We've already got our theme chosen. Okay, but if you want to further customize this, go ahead and hit backdrop. Okay, look, you got three backdrops to choose from. So let's try this one. This one's a little more mountainous. Um, I've never seen it before, so dun, 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 dun. it's going to be like all new. Hey, there we are. Look, I'm in Vermont. Okay, which I really do dig this. Vermont is one of my favorite places in the entire world. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what the other one looks like just for uh, poops and giggles here. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of, I'm very sniffly right now because I just sneezed like 50 times. Well, this one's kind of cool. It's got a little different kind of mountain deal. It's almost like a combination of the, of the countryside theme. Um, but I like this one better. Fall Mountains. There's nothing more beautiful uh, than Fall Mountains, I'll tell you. Okay, so that's the whole point. You know, then, you know, there's other things. There's lighting and weather. I could do a whole tutorial video on lighting itself because it's kind of complicated. Uh, let's look at weather a little bit. Uh, rain off. Always leave rain off, okay? Uh, one of the other things about this game that... I don't necessarily care for, and again, let me preface by saying I like this game. I love the course designer. It's it's taken me a little while. I've had the game for what two months now. Um, it's taken me a little while to get to get to know the designer and the controls, and I still I'm learning things every day. Um, but one of the things I don't like is the fact that if I were to turn rain on, uh, guess what? It's raining. Okay, there's two things wrong with this. Number one, when I publish this golf course, it's going to be raining. And there's going to be no way for it to not be raining. Number two is it's raining, but look at the sky. The sky's beautiful. Okay, so what we need to do is, if you're going to put it on rain, you got to put clouds all the way up. Boom. Raining with big clouds. You know, you could even move the, the clouds down. Because generally you're going to have lower clouds. Yeah, see, now that's rain. All right, so let's move the clouds back up. Let's move the cloudiness back down. Uh, another pro tip when designing. This is important. Okay, because there's a lot of trees on this golf course, um, you're going to have shadows. Okay, and because there's clouds in the sky, you're also going to have areas that are not sunny. Um, and it's going to, while you're designing, you're going to have periods where it is suddenly not sunny anymore. 
Okay, that is a pain in the butt. Okay, it suddenly gets, you know, it gets like kind of shady and, and, the, and the sun kind of goes away. And, and while it looks cool in real life, it is no fun to try and design like that. So uh, if you want, turn your clouds all the way down to zero and you should have sunny golf course everywhere you are. Okay, uh, let's get the rain off again. Uh, now, haze. I usually turn the haze up just a little... Okay, to like three. Okay, it doesn't do too much here. It's not really visible. Okay, but if you turn the, you know, if you if you move the sun, which we'll do here in just a second, uh, I'm gonna do a little fog too. All right, again, not much of an effect until you mess with this. Okay, and when you start with Again, with all the trees, it's not going to show as much. Where's my hole here? There we are. Okay, so I've moved this into the morning. Uh, we could even do this. Now we got like a kind of a sunset. Now, see, there's where your haze and your fog come in. Doesn't that look cool? You wouldn't obviously have that for this golf course because the entire course would be in the shade and that's no fun for the players they can't see um, but it does look cool if you want to take some screenshots that look really neat um, you can take screenshots you play with the inclination and the time of day um, if we make this just a little more and voila now you've got a pretty cool looking golf course looks like you're playing around a golf early in the morning all right so I'm gonna change this back up to a little more normal Let's get this back up to about midday. That's what you want to design on because the sun is directly overhead. Um, okay, so that's you know that's kind of like the you know some things about you know further going into your theme and, and making stuff look cool. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is fairways. Fairways, ugh, what a pain in the butt fairways are. Um, there's two ways to make fairways. Okay, way number one is you know you always you know go to create uh, and then create surfaces. We're going to create fairway, and you have two options, and these are the two ways you're going to be making fairway. Uh, number one way is going to be with brush. This is kind of my most favoritist way. There's some more good English. Most favoritist way to make fairways. So we're going to make that a little bigger, okay? And this doesn't look like much, okay? But here's how you're going to do this. First of all, you know, we're going to just leave the, we're going to leave the rough and the stuff there for now. Usually I take them out. Okay, and, okay, there's a fairway, right? Or at least the beginning of one. Okay, how far away from that, from the T is that? Not too far, okay? You want to have it be 200 or less. About 2, 220 is the maximum you should have your fairway away from the, uh, away from the T boxes. Okay, now before you back out of this and put more fairway, do this. Okay, click back. A few times till you get here, go to rough, brush, don't touch anything, just keep hitting buttons, and use this brush, make it a little bigger, you know, for as much of the light rough as you want, and hit go. And there you are, okay? Well, where am I? Okay, well, now you got to go back again, and go back to fairway, and go to brush. All right, and now there are a lot of different brushes. I find these brushes that the ones that are kind of oddly shaped, not perfectly round ones like this, um, they do have their place, but I like to use these ones for fairway. Oops, uh, I do not like to use these because most fairways are not scraggly like that. Most fairways are straight lines. This is another one I use a lot, this one, this one. As a matter of fact, we're going to use this one right now. Okay, so it's got a relatively sharp edge to it, not like, say, this one. You wouldn't use this for fairway because the edge is just too undefined. Okay, some of these could be used. Uh, you'd have to make them really freaking big, you know, and then it's, you know, I, whatever. You, you use whatever brush you want to use. Um, for me, I like using these ones. Okay, we're going to make it smaller. You can make it smaller, bigger, smaller. Turn it. 
I'm going to turn it this way a little and then overlap it in such a way that it uh, it's going to look more or less natural. I'm going to tell you how to fix things that don't look natural. So go ahead and get that dropped on there. Yay, fairway. Okay, everything connects and uh, the game tries to make lines as smooth as possible. You see how you've got that one curve in there looks looks much better than it did before you dropped the shape on there. All right, so we back out, we back out, rough shape, your shape's already there. Hit OK, now you're on there, and then make it a little bigger. Um, you can go back later also and fix some of these rough things. All right, so anyway, that is the one way of making fairways the way I use the most. Um, let's go back to fairway a second, brush, and okay, I don't like that curve there. Like that's like that. That's too wavy for me, right? So we're gonna go brush. We want to find the straight edged one, the square, like the rectangle one. We're gonna make it a little smaller, and we are gonna connect these. Maybe a little bigger than that. Okay, you don't want it way out here because then you're gonna see the things of the square. All right, you gotta have it well within the existing fairway. Let's try this. And remember, there's undo, so you can, you know, if you don't like the way it looks, you can go back and fix it. But our straight edge now makes something like that. That's much better. It looks, it's a little too, too synthetic for me. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and back out, see if I can make that look better. Um, let's make this, we're going to put this down here a little bit. I want to turn it this way a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. And you just, you just sometimes you have to experiment a little bit. Okay, that looks better. Okay, um, so it gives you a little bit more. Not all fairways are super wavy Jack Nicholas fairways, you know. So, and then the same with this. You got to back out, go to rough brush, choose that brush, make it bigger. This brush you have to make even much more bigger because the edge is not as defined. And uh, and then get that get that rough laid down there okay so that is way number one of making fairways way number two is with the spline and there's advantages and disadvantages to using spline versus brushes for making fairway okay spline Okay, you gotta, you know, you get to make your fairway however you want it. You have, there's no restriction to what shape your fairway is, and I love that. Okay, so one thing that is good is to keep your waypoints on your spline as far away from each other as possible. Use as few of these as you can. All right, I like to close mine off here at the end. Oops, I didn't place it. Dumb butt. Uh, that's okay. You're going to see what's going to happen here in a minute. Okay. Now, oh boy, look at that. That looks terrible. Well, no, it looks terrible because you haven't done anything to it yet. So see how you're still on that spline thing? Back, back, back. You're hitting the B button for back. Uh, I believe on the Xbox, that's the, or on the PlayStation, it's the circle. Go back again and until you're here, go to edit. First thing I do, sharpen and smooth, smooth path. Ta-da! Look at that now. Okay, so your next thing is probably like, well, wait just a darn minute. There's nothing. It's just a path. It's not anything else. Okay, so the next thing you got to do is you got to color within the lines. Okay, we all learned how to do this when we were four years old. All right, so we got to go back, create add, surfaces, fairway, brush. Choose the circle brush. Make it small enough to fit in the lines. Okay, now first thing I'm going to do, because I forgot to close this in, I'm going to go ahead and put this here, and that will close my fairway in. All right, it's not going to look great, you know, it's, but actually, <laughs> it's not a bad job, Charles. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, though, is we're going to color. I want to make sure this is not wider than, so I'm going to make that a little smaller. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. 
All right, so coloring is like this. On Xbox, you're going to hit A and hold it down. On PlayStation, that's going to be X, and you're going to hold it down. And on PC, I have no idea. You probably do it with the mouse. So hold it down and then drag. And drag this over the whole stinking area. I like to do little bits at a time. And then wait a second, and ta-da, fairway. Okay, another thing that I love about using spline for fairways is that you can leave sections, oops, you can leave sections blank. I'm going to show you that here just shortly. Okay, and I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to go over here this time. You can leave a section blank if maybe you want to put some bunkers in the middle of your fairway. All right, so here I could put like a nice deep pot bunker or something like that. Okay, the other way of doing a bunker in a fairway is you could just put a bunker right there, but it's not going to look right. It's going to have a weird, uh, I'll show you here real quick. Um, bunkers, brush, bunker. Ta-da! I'm putting a bunker in the middle of my fairway. Watch what happens. You get this weird bunch of rough around it, and it looks, you know, it looks artificial. It doesn't look good. Um, you know, the, some golf courses have stuff that looks like this. So, I mean, if you want to have this on your on your golf course, by all means, do it. I mean, it's your golf course. You do what you want. Um, but the, the consensus among most designers is that it looks artificial. You know, one of the things in, in oops, one of the things in golf course design is, I'm going to cover this back up, uh, is, is, you know, you're designing within nature. Okay, nature does not have straight lines. Nature does not have uniformity. Obviously, if you're going to mow this in real life, you know, you need to be able to do that. Uh, but now I went over the line a little bit, so it's going to give me a little extra uh, on the outside there. No, I actually didn't do that. Okay, here's a spot I missed. You go back and fix the spots you missed, and, you know, ta-da, you have a beautiful fairway. And I love the, the edges and stuff like that. Um, now, you'll probably need to go back and see there's a kink over here. Actually, that's from me going outside the lines, but we are going to fix this. We're going to move, and we're going to move it just like that. And uh, that's a little better. That still looks kind of crappy. And again, I think that's from the shape going out there. You know, this should be... Sm uh, see, it's still... Okay, so then, it, you know, when at worst, you can go over here and go to Edit. You can go to Path Width and just make it wider. Okay, that does help with the kinks a little bit. Oh, that looks terrible. Okay, so let's move this again. Okay, this absolutely should be outside of where I had the... Yeah, see, that looks better already. Okay, and... So you can see this is one of the drawbacks with using splines is you're going to get these little kinks that the spline tool creates, you know, and you have to go back and, and, and fiddle with them to get it to look right. Um, the narrower your path is, you probably will have seen this in creating cart paths. Uh, the, the, the narrower the line, the more wavy it gets, okay? So that's something you got to fix. Uh, the other thing that is a big pain in the butt with these is create surfaces rough spline. So now you need to go over every single spline on here with your light rough. Now I tend to try to keep mine, my uh, handles or, or waypoints or whatever just offset from the original so that I can tell them apart. There's another kink that's no good. Okay, but I got to go ahead and put these down exactly where my existing ones are. Isn't there one over there? No. Okay, and then I got to go back and adjust them again. 
Bring up here and here and close it off. I like to I'm gonna close this one off because I want it to look right. Okay, so here is what we got down here is okay, let's again keep backing out, hit the B button until you get here. See it says spline waypoint light. That is how you know you're not using the fairway one. Edit. Sharp and smooth, smooth. Okay, let's see if that helped at all. It did help a little. Then you got to go down here. Oops. You got to go down here. That's the fairway one. This is the light rough one. And you got to move this one out here. Okay, and you got to move it so that it is. Okay, actually, you got to make this wider too because I made the fairway one wider. So, you know, and depending on how much rough you want. Okay, you gotta, oops, you have to uh, go ahead and, come on, get out of here, there we go. And you gotta drag these, is this the fairway, is this the fairway? Where's my light rub, where's my rub, there's light, see it says light. And we're gonna put this here. Okay, because we want a little bit more light rough than that. Now, this has the same kink in it that the fairway did, so we got to mess around with that spline handle a little. That's much better. But you can see this is a much longer process than using the shapes that we did down here. Um, you know, so, you know, the, the pros of using shapes for your fairway are uh, better uniformity in the light rough, and just overall easier and less time consuming. But th uh, um, the cons are that if you use the spline, you might you get a better, more accurate exactly what you want for, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what exactly what you want for your shape. Okay, you get a really good customizable shape. <clears throat> excuse me. The problem with that though is then you got to go back, and you got to fiddle with all these handles <clears throat> and stuff to number one you got to get the kinks out mm, excuse me <coughs> man I am just all kinds of flemmy um, see there's a kink in the fairway so we want to fix that you know and you can spend all day fixing these stupid splines it takes forever and uh, so I gotta go up to this handle and let's get him we're gonna move him out here so um, you know, uh, oops, I did the light rough one. See, I wasn't paying attention. Where's my fairway? Okay, and make sure you're always seeing fairway or light rough, depending on the one you want to move. This is still bad. I, again, I could spend hours doing this. So um, that's basically it for fairways. Uh, you know, we're not talking elevation work yet. We're just talking about getting the getting the textures down. Okay, here's what it looks like from the T. You still got your bumps and stuff. So, um, I hope this was, uh, in many ways, very um, nice and oops, uh, nice and easy for you. I hope it helped you in, you know, getting to know um, how to make fairways and how to make fairways look good. Um, we didn't talk about you know, uh, different shapes of fairways and how, like, say, British Open, you know, or, excuse me, the Open Championship has, um, you know, very straight, uniform length fairways that kind of go uh, in whatever direction. Uh, a lot of the classic U.S. Open courses do that, you know, your your Oakland Hills and, and uh, Oakmont, stuff like that. Um, Jack Nicklaus courses tend to have the more wavy fairways like this, um, you see that more at golf courses like, say, Sawgrass or, um, you know, just any Jack Nicklaus golf course, you know, uh, if you look at, like, you know, PGA West and, and um, stuff like that. So uh, I think he did PGA West. I don't even know. Uh, PGA National uh, down in, in Florida, though, uh, is that way. I played uh, another golf course in Florida of his called Keens Point. And uh, that's a really nice golf course, and it was fun to play. Not a, not a, you know, definitely not a basket of fruit when it comes to, you know, easy or not easy. But 
Um, but his fairways have more wavies like this. So, you know, that's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, there is no right or wrong way to shape fairways. If you're doing a recreation course, obviously you have to do them the way they are in real life. So uh, I hope this helped. Uh, again, uh, I'm filming this the same day as I filmed my last one. So uh, we're still waiting for the hurricane to get here in Atlanta. It will get here. Uh, the hurricane is supposed to pretty much, according to the latest, is supposed to come like right over my house. Okay, like the eye of the storm is going to pass right over Douglasville, Georgia, which is about 20 miles west of Atlanta. And uh, that's going to be no fun at all. Um, but way more fun than my poor friends and family that are in Florida right now. Uh, you guys need to stay safe. If you haven't already, get the hell out of there. Uh, if you can't get out at this point, then you need to be safe. Be in a place in your house, not in your windows. You know, all that stuff. Okay, if you live in Florida, you know how this goes. Uh, I lived in Florida for a while. I know how it goes. I was there in 04. We had three hurricanes in eight weeks. Okay, I come through central Florida. I lived near Orlando. And man, did that suck. I lost power for eight days during one of those. And holy cow, that was awful. Okay, cooked a frozen pizza on the grill for crying out loud. Okay, propane grill, frozen pizza, not the tastiest pizza you've ever had. I guarantee it. So anyway, guys, stay safe. Be good. Um, you know, I'll continue filming these. Uh, I'll probably do another one here today in a while. I want to do a review video. I haven't done one of those yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do a review video uh, later today. And uh, these will all be up on YouTube uh, at some point between, you know, over the weekend. So best of luck to all of you guys. Hope you found this helpful. I hope, uh, you know, you're designing. I hope you're making some great golf courses. We have tons of great golf courses out there, but we can always use more. So do your best. I hope these videos are going to help you do that. And we will see you next time. Violin guy signing off. Be good. See you later.